Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel Swami Vijay and this is Swami Vijay speaking to all. In this video, I am going to explain job application which is part of your writing skills in class 12 examination so now without any delay let us begin this video but before i begin the video as usual if you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel so that you can receive latest updates and information the moment i upload videos on youtube now on screen you can see this is the format of a job application this format of job application has different different formats i am going to discuss here two important ways or formats of writing a job application. You can use any one of the formats according to your convenience and according to your condition. Now, the first format of a job application is it is the combination of two things. First one is covering letter and the second one is resume or curriculum VT. That means you can see here the first part of this is called covering letter now what is a covering letter it is almost all very similar to the formal letter but we call it as a covering letter that means before you are submitting your cv or a resume you should write about something about you and addressing the person who is giving you employment or whom you are seeking employment so in this format are in this type of format we are going to write first a letter and that name of the letter we call it as a covering letter and then we write the resume or curriculum meeting so as i told you the format of this job application is a combination of curriculum letter and resume the first part of this job application is the covering letter and the format of the covering letter is we have to write first the address of the sender that means who is preparing this job application or who is writing this job application or in other words who is applying for the job so you should write your name and your address within three lines don't write more than three lines address of the sender then afterwards leave one line gap and write date so what is date today today is 17 07 2022 so you can write in british format date month and year or you can also write in month date and year in american format but don't get confused use one format whether you are comfortable with british format day month and year use that okay it will be easy if you write in british format so that even evaluators can also understand properly then after that leave one line gap and write address of the receiver now who is receiving it's not a person it is a position that means if you are applying for a job you need to write to the manager or the managing director or whoever is given the advertisement so you should write only the position of the person not the name of the person in case if you know the person in advertisement the person has given even name also so you can directly apply to the person but in general you have to write only the position the manager so and so company and the place of the company three lines address of the sender three lines date one line and then address of the receiver also three lines and after each you have to leave one one line gap then we have to write salutation so what is salutation greeting so whenever you uh, start speaking to somebody first you have to greet them so in the same way we have to here write salutation now modern days we can write only sir sir that is enough that itself is enough because that is the most respectful way to address anybody no need to write respected sir if you write even respected sir also fine but you have to write sir that is enough now if you have a doubt can we write sir oblique ma'am yes of course that is also correct but sir itself is enough even to address a woman manager or woman managing director or chait person so sir is enough for salutation then next one is subject so under this subject you have to write one single sentence what for which post you are applying for example you are going to apply for the post of pgt english teacher or a tgt english teacher or a manager or a supervisor or a software engineer so you can write that single sentence under subject so that whoever reads your job application they will understand that okay you are applying for this particular position in their company or in their organization but one thing is whenever you are writing the subject always start the subject using noun don't use verb form that means if you want to write write application for the post of 
PGT English teacher in your school. Don't write applying for the post of PGT English teacher. That is of course correct, but more appropriate is application noun form. Then after writing the subject, leave one line gap and come to the body of the covering letter. See maximum body of the covering letter you can write using 50 or 60 words. Don't write too much under the body of the covering letter. Now what you have to write under the body of the covering letter that we will discuss after completion of this general format. Generally, you have to write with reference to the advertisement published in the Hindustan newspaper, Times newspaper or the Hindu newspaper or Deccan Herald dated 15-7-2022 uh, for the post of PGT English in so-and-so school. I would like to apply my candidature for the above said post. So that I'll show you after this slide. Then after completion of writing body of the covering letter, now you have to write the subscription. Subscription means like you were sincerely or you was obediently, you was faithfully that you have to write. Then you have to do a signature. Okay. Proper signature in running hand you have to do. There is no gap between subscription and signature. You were sincerely and signature will go Next, there is no line or gap between these two. Then, as it is a job application, we are writing the covering letter to introduce ourselves in a formal way. So, we are going to attach resume or CV after this. So, we have to write here enclosures. So, we have to write enclosures, resume, oblique, CV. Then, we have to attach the resume or CV in the same letter. But what in examination, what you have to do is, if uh, you will get one A4 size paper and the paper will open in this way the booklet i am talking examination booklet will open left to uh, right sorry right to left okay so what you have to do is write the covering letter in one side of the page like left side of the page and write the resume or covering letter on the right side of the page so that when examiner opens the page they will see the covering letter on the left side of the page and the curriculum vita or resume on the right side of the page because if you continue it is not possible to write in the A4 size, uh, what you call answer script provided to you. So practically write covering letter in one side, left side of the page and write resume or curriculum meet on the right side of the page. Now let us go to understand what is this resume or covering uh, CV means curriculum meet. See R-E-S-U-M-E -E is pronounced as resume, restart or resume. So what is a resume? It is about the information. If curriculum vitae means course of action. So these are different words from Latin and French. But let us understand resume and curriculum vitae are almost all equivalent to the English Indian English word biodata. Now we have to prepare the resume and it is the general format or way of writing the resume or preparing the resume or curriculum vitae. For both you can use the same format. So in a job application there are two parts. First one is covering letter and the second one is resume or curriculum vitae. Now let us go to the next slide and see how to prepare a job application with a separate resume. That means one curriculum vitae resume will prepare and before that you will prepare a covering letter. So here is a resume uh, job application with a separate resume sample. Here you can see somebody is applying for the post of personal assistant to the managing director. So as I told you first the person has written his address that means address of the sender and the date here you can see the date is written in a different format today is 17 07 2022 it can be written july 17 comma 2022 that is also correct then as i told you you have to write address of the receiver see here he has mentioned the hr department not name of the person jenith advertising lajpat nagar new delhi so address of the sender address of the receiver and in between we have to write the date and then here he had written dear sir or madam you can also use dear sir oblique madam there is no problem with that even if you write sir also that is fine now subject you can see here application noun form not verb form application for the post of personal assistant to the managing director so clearly you have to mention for which post you are applying in the subject then you have to leave one line gap and you have to write the body of the covering letter. Now, if you see here, in response to your advertisement in Hindustan Times dated August 31st, 2008, I wish to apply for the post of personal assistant to the managing director in the beginning only in the first paragraph or in the first few lines, the 
applicant has clearly mentioned where did he come across the advertisement when did he come across the advertisement for which post he is applying all this information is given very very precisely in the first line now he is explaining about himself at present i am employed with pisnet consulting solutions new delhi as an executive secretary but feel that your job offers greater scope for career growth and use of my abilities I take the job with great sense of responsibility enjoy the challenge of new situations and expect to make a positive contribution to your organization my detailed resume is attached with this letter for your kind consideration and perusal hope to get an early interview call thanking you you can use thanking you next line also or you can even delete the thanking you word so this is the way the covering letter should be prepared first where did you come across the advertisement when did you come across the advertisement and for which post you are applying for then you have to tell about yourself don't need to barge about yourself but at least you have to tell some information about yourself in the covering letter then you have to write that you are suitable for the post and awaiting interview call and then you have to end with subscription you was faithfully and then uh, the name of the person you can write here or you have to sign in the resume or in the covering letter let us see here some annotations i can use i suppose okay laser pointer okay and then finally you can have to mention resume whether they ask you to write resume in the question you use resume if they ask you to write uh, curriculum vitae you can mention the curriculum vitae so this is the format of writing a covering letter and this is the example covering letter now let us go to the resume or curriculum vitae as i told you all these have same format so you can use the same format it's one of the formats so in resume or curriculum vitae after writing the covering letter you have to write in this format divide your page into two halves middle center draw a line prepare this box and you have to write this much information 13 14 fields if you write that is enough because three marks for covering letter and three marks for your resume or curriculum vitae now what you have to include in this resume your full name write your full name with your initial expansion also then next you have to write father's name mother's name then how do you write the father's name mother's name and full name you should write your name in capital letters your father's name in capital letters and your mother's name also in capital letters okay and one very silly mistake many times students commit which i found in my uh, experience with my experience that sometimes the students fail to write or enter this apostrophe s if you don't enter father apostrophe s then it will become plural and it would be very awkward if somebody checks your papers even with the same mother's name then you have to write sex male or female then you have to write your date of birth exactly write the date of birth in british format and you can even mention how old are you in that column you have to draw this kind of box horizontal lines and vertical lines then you have to mention nationality then marital status whether you are married or unmarried don't write like this facebook status single uh, like engaged all those things don't work here then you have to write the educational qualification now if you see the right side of this box in the educational qualification you should write serial number course percentage of marks of course you can include other columns also but three is enough and when you write this education qualifications you should write in reverse chronology that means the highest qualification should be written on the top and then next qualification and then least qualification generally we consider post graduation msc mcom considered as the highest qualification that if you have phd then you can write the phd so you need to mention the quotes and then percentage of marks you secured you can add even year of passing also if the space is there then second is graduation or ug under graduation and then percentage of marks then third one is plus 2 and the percentage of marks don't write more than three education qualification that is not required then you have extra qualifications or you can also make it like additional qualifications for example for the post of teacher the additional qualification can be beat or emit or extra qualifications can be even computer course like pgdca 
course can be written under extra qualifications then you have to write your postal address see already you have written your name on the top your father's name on the top and mother's name on the top so here you can write straight away starting with your house number or dot number or flat number and write your address simple within three lines don't write one single entire paragraph for this postal address means simple it should be straight with ends with pin code then you have to write your contact number and you have to enter your email id here right side you have to enter contact number and email id if you have two contact numbers you can write even two contact numbers and then hobbies now see hobbies means you may like singing dancing or you may like judo taekwondo boxing but to the post which you are applying according to the post you need to write the hobbies if you are applying for the post of teacher and if you write boxing is my hobbies or one of the hobbies then nobody will give you a job because you will you will do boxing with your students so according to your job and profession you should write hobbies here then of course you have to write salary expected how much salary you expect in the job but if you are a first time applying for the job don't mention salary expected or if you want at least you can write negotiable that means once the job is confirmed then we can negotiate how much salary you give how much i want all those things can be done after the interview or during the interview then last one and the final thing is reference whenever you write a resume or curriculum vitae you must give reference of two people whom you know who can talk something positive about you so you have to give the two references their name and the contact number so this is the format of writing job application using this one format so it has body of the it has the covering letter as well as resume or curriculum vitae so this is the example of covering letter this is the example of resume or curriculum vitae so in this way, what happened three marks you will get for covering letter and three marks you will get for resume or curriculum vitae and there is one more format of writing resume you can see on the screen this is the contemporary format or modern format where you will straight away write the resume without any kind of covering letter starting information directly your name address email id mobile number experience you can see here uh, the person has written the information here directly and then the experience eight years of service as an engineer and then currently for the last three years attached to the managing director then his two years in Jirax as a secretary to gm hrd then here it comes the education qualification so first the person has given about the experience and then he has written about the educational qualifications then professional qualifications and you can see the software extra in knowledge training exposure merits and recognition and personal information but in this the reference is not provided so if you want to write in this style you can also write in this format resume straight away without covering letter anything but what my suggestion to you is in the question examination in the question paper if they give you a question write a job application for applying for the post of so and so then it is better to write the covering letter and the resume because covering letter has three marks and resume or curriculum it has three marks and if you directly write in this format some examiners some evaluators may give less marks because they expect curriculum vt and they expect before that curriculum covering letter so it is according to you some of your teachers may tell you to write directly the resume that will fetch you marks they are also correct there is nothing wrong with that but in the traditional way of writing job application it is part of two things one is covering letter and the second one is resume so this is the format of job application in your class 12 cbsc examination subject english so if you have any questions comment in the comment section i will definitely answer to your questions and before I end the video after watching this entire video if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel so that you can receive latest updates information the moment i upload videos on youtube so till next video take care bye bye good day Thanks for watching this video. If you have come to the end of this video, I believe that you are interested to watch a few more videos related to the topic. So now you can check this out video or watch this one. Click this video. It will take you into another video.